Hi, Libra. Hi. How are you doing today, Libra? Hmm. And like I always say, Libra, if you're feeling alone right now, you are not, okay? You are not. Now, let's get into your reading, Libra. Also, Libra, I'm going to be announcing my personal readings before I, um, before I start them. And also, Libra, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's see. For the person that is on Libra's mind right now, what is going on with them? Okay, Libra. We have the Hermit card. Libra, this could be someone who ghosted you out of nowhere. This person is not talking to you. They're not saying anything to you, okay? This person is being very solid and very detached from you. We have the judgment card here. Libra, this person is trying to make the right decision when it comes between you and someone else. They really want to make the right decision, which I like. They're putting a lot of thought into it. But let's see and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Libra, I feel like this person have done something. They could have ghosted you. That's what I'm strongly feeling here. And I feel like they got karma for that. Okay, with this Wheel of Fortune being here. Something came back around to bite them in the ass. Okay? And we have the Seven of Wands here. Also, Libra, I want you to know that this person is willing to fight for you now. Even though they have lied to you in the past because I'm seeing it here. With the Fool card being here, they do want you to trust them. But I would not trust them so easily because you will be a fool if you do, okay? We have the Seven of Swords here. So, Libra, this person is still hiding stuff and being deceptive. Even though they went through karma, they should know not to do that again. We have the Three of Cups here. Libra, I do feel like this could be reconciliation, but I'm feeling like they have not let someone go because this could be what they're hiding because it's right on the side of the Seven of Swords, but we're going to clarify everything. We have the Queen of Wands, Libra. I do feel like they're very attracted to you. They find you very beautiful, irresistible, Libra, but still, I feel like this person got some toxic ways that they just can't shake. Even after they receive karma, they still don't get it. They still, is, oh, I'm sorry, but still acting the same foolish way. Why is the hermit card here for the person Libra's dealing with? The three of wands. Libra, this is someone who definitely ghosted you and they they had you waiting on them. This person could have lied and say, said something was wrong or something and just disappeared out of nowhere. And I want you to know, Libra, that this person know for some of you, this doesn't resonate for all of you. They know that you are waiting on them because they ghosted you out of nowhere and your heart was really in this. And Libra, they are stalking you and watching you, okay? With this Ten of Swords here, I feel like they really, really hurt you. They really, really put you, really, really put you in a bad position. They hurt you, okay? Because why? Because they was very unstable, Libra. They really talked to a lot of people. They was non-committal, okay? They really held back when it comes to when it comes to this connection. Why is the judgment card here for um, Libra's person? Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Libra, you're dealing with someone, could be a Capricorn, don't have to be, but you're dealing with someone who's very um, selfish. This is someone who's very selfish and someone who really only cares about what they want. This is someone who only cares about the things that they want, not necessarily other people, okay? This is someone who really considers their needs over anyone else's. And I feel like that could be a good thing or a bad thing, but I feel like this person is very selfish. Like, it's like, even if they hurt the other person, which is very weird, okay? So remember that, okay? Remember that the person you're dealing with, this person is kind of selfish. Yeah, clarifying the will of fortune here. We have the Hierophant here. Libra, this person ghosted you. They could have ghosted you for someone else, I'm going to be honest with you. And they found out that that person was married. The Hierophant here, yeah. They found out, oh, this is good. They found out that someone, that the person that they tried to go and be with behind your back and like ghost you, they found out that that person was married. Karma, They yeah, the Tower card, yeah. And they could have caught something from that person which making them carry a huge burden around. And now 
they realized it like, huh, Libra was really there for me. Really, Libra really cared for me. Libra was the one who was sent from the divine for me. And I supposed to have stability with Libra, the four of swords. But I chose to be a player, the knight of wands, and stab Libra in the back with the ten of swords. And now I'm sitting here stalking Libra and watching her, the page of swords. They're stalking you, Libra. They is stalking you literally, I'm telling you. They feel so stupid. I mean, this this got to be like the best karma, though. Th this is good. Okay. <laughs> Why is the seven of wands here for Libra's person? Yeah. Look at this. The knight of cups. Now they want stability with you, Libra. Now they want the real thing. They don't want any games anymore. They don't want to play any games no more. They are done with the games, okay? They are willing to fight for you. They want to bring you genuine, genuine feelings and emotions. And the five of cups. They have deep regret of what they did to you, which was leaving you out in the cold, the five of pentacles, ghosting, and juggling you with someone else, okay? And putting you in your head, okay? And this person had a lot of fear around commitment. Uh, wow. Why is the food card here? The ace of cups. They want you, they want a second chance with you, Libra. They want a second chance with you. They want you to give them a second chance. I love you, Libra. I really want this to work. Look at this. The Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you got two Aces, Libra. So they really do want a new beginning with you. But is they're going to value it? Okay. Let me put the Ace back out there. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Leo, Libra's person? For some of you could be dealing with the Leo. We have the Hangman. This is going to remain stagnant. Why? Because your person is still lying and being deceptive, Libra. They're still lying and being deceptive, which is going to make this thing be stagnant. And when I mean stagnant, Leo, Libra, I mean it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere because your person needs to choose between you and someone else. And they go that Leo could be dealing with the Leo. And they're holding back, okay? They're holding back. And we have the Empress here. Could be a child's mom or ex-wife. But they're holding back. They're being deceptive about someone else, a third party here. This is why the Three of Cups is here. Why is the Three of Cups here? It's here for my beautiful Libra's person. The Four of Wands, Libra. <sighs> Libra, your person could be living with someone and you don't know about it, to be honest with you. I do feel like this person is a liar. I feel like it's it's weird. The star card at the bottom of the deck with the Page of Cups. I, I see I'm getting that energy. It's almost like they want to apologize. They want, they, they are regret that they don't have you in their life but it's like they're not willing to be all the way committed to you they're just not okay and i do feel like they're living with someone else and spirit is telling you that they are definitely living with someone else and have stability with the third party here because i was thinking like this could be my reconciliation card but no 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 it's a third party here that they're sleeping with for some of you living with well that's the queen of wands here yeah the six of pentacles see libra if they do this if you do decide to give this person a second chance which they are coming okay they are coming this eight of wands and they gonna throw it on thick they gonna tell you i'm sorry please forgive me libra i'm sorry i didn't mean to do the things i did but spirit is saying they're not gonna offer you enough the page of pentacles they're not gonna give you what you want they just are not okay they're gonna break from you libra they're gonna break from you I feel like they're going to lay it on thick, though. This person is the type of person, they make it sound so good. But when it comes to the action, it's nothing. It's, it's silence when it comes to the real effort to put in. They don't do that. This person is a very, this is, I haven't used this term in a long time, but it's time for it now. This person is a lazy lover. This is someone who wants you to be madly in love with them and barely give you a drop of love. But they want you to continue like being so in love with them without giving you nothing. Okay, I don't like this person. It's very selfish. Okay, and I feel like you deserve way better. You deserve the world, Libra. Not just, you know, this is just like grass. Like, this is not the world. Okay, I don't know what this person has got going on. I love you so much, Libra. You are loved by me. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, Libra. 